Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Monsters of the Past. As always, I'm your host, Mr. G, and today we're talking about an ancient dog. I couldn't really think of a better description for it. It's the dire wolf. Dire wolf means terrible wolf, and it was a member of the dog family. It was a carnivore that lived during the late Pleistocene, and its remains have been found in both of the Americas, and recently their remains have been found in Asia. Contrary to popular belief, dire wolves were actually equal in size to the gray wolf, only being a bit stockier than the gray wolf. As animals, dire wolves would have been pretty similar to modern day canines, in that they were carnivores who most likely hunted in packs. However, because there were both gray wolves and saber-toothed tigers at the same time and places dire wolves, some paleontologists wonder if dire wolf was an active predator or if they were scavengers. Or there's a third group that thinks they were like hyenas, and that they were in that they were somewhat primarily scavengers, but they are more than capable of being active predators. For the longest time, dire wolves were placed in the same genus as modern day wolves. However, recent DNA testing has revealed that while they were still canines, they were only distantly related to modern day wolves. As such, their name changed from Canis Diarus to Anosin Diarus. Before we end this segment off, I think I should clear up some things about dire wolves. One, they were not the biggest canines ever. That honor belongs to the Miocene canine Episeon. And two, they were not the ancestors to modern day wolves, as those existed with the dire wolf. One last pretty cool thing about dire wolves is that their remains are some of the most numerous that have been found in the Lil Brea tar pits. Everything you see on screen are just the skulls that have been found in the pits. It does make me wonder why, why so many wolves fell into the pit though. They were probably chasing animals that got stuck, and since they were probably pack hunters, multiple got stuck at once. <sighs> Taurus seems like such a scary way to go. It's like quicksand, but worse. Alright, time to look at the card. Yep, that's uh, definitely a pre-2021 depiction of a dire wolf. Anyway... The biggest errors on this card are the fact that it's portrayed as a true wolf, the fact that it's referred to by its old scientific name, and the fact that it calls it the biggest canine ever, which is not true. It was the exact same size as the gray wolf, just stockier. And, uh, even this depiction confuses me. Why does it have the exact same coloration as the gray wolf? I know that these cards came out during the time where they considered where they were considered to be true wolves, and to be honest, dogs don't really look that different from each other if you look at them hard enough. I mean, I can barely tell coyotes from jackals sometimes. But anyway, I give this card a 7 out of 10. Okay, let's look at dire wolves in pop culture. Dire wolves appear as tameable animals in the video game Ark Survival Evolved. Although weirdly enough, their most notable appearances aren't actually from dinosaur media, but rather fantasy media. Like for example, they were they they appear in Dungeons and Dragons, which is not a dinosaur media. And the most notable appearance is in Game of Thrones, which is definitely not a piece of dinosaur media. Maybe the reason they don't appear as much in pop culture is because they probably think that they were invented by Game of Thrones and they don't want to get sued for copyright infringement or something. But that's just a theory. That's all for this episode of Monsters of the Past, and just as a disclaimer for next time, the next four videos are all going to be double features. So, uh, be prepared. Bye!